here with Keystone Classic uh, champion George Walton, the rider. Hey, tell me a little bit about how you view your, your success today. I just kept wrestling, didn't stop. I just kept, kept uh, keeping the pressure on my opponents. Try to score as many points as possible. You grew up wrestling in New Jersey. Tough wrestling state. How does that prepare you? One of the best, right? And maybe, I mean, you got some really high level guys. How does that prepare you for wrestling D1? Uh, coming in, I know I'm one of the best. You know, New Jersey State Wrestling Tournament is probably one of the hardest in the country. Yeah. So coming off of winning that, it just kept, kept giving me momentum for college. Gotcha. Tell me a little bit about transferring to Ryder. You're at ODU, right? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, Tell I'm me. a little homesick. Yeah. So I had to come back home and be around my family and my, my, my close friends. Has that made a difference for you? Yeah, I've been wrestling better, man. Everything's been better since I've been back home. Tell me, what are you thinking about when you're out on the map? Are you thinking like attack? Or are you just thinking attack? Yeah. Keep going. That's what my coaches keep preaching to me, so that's what I got to keep doing. Every time I get on the shot, my coach is telling me that I'm finishing. I got to keep shooting so that I keep scoring. That's my main goal. How old were you started wrestling? Uh, six years old. How old are you now? Twenty. You've been wrestling like over seventy-five percent of your life. What, yeah. what keeps you wrestling? The love for the sport. What is it? What do you love? Everything. Yeah. Besides cutting weight. Besides, oh, what's your what's your walk around weight? Uh, probably like around one ninety-five. For real? Yeah. And what? And right? Is it making it hard? Uh, it's, Make not, it? it's not hard, but you know, just not being able to eat the day of and the day before a tournament or matches. No, it's not normal, I would say. Right. It is not normal. Most family members don't think it's normal. No. You guys are off to a really good start. You had a good trip out to the Midwest, Minnesota, yeah. Northern Illinois or something. Yeah. Tell me a little bit, you know, how to pretty good showing at the Princeton Open. Yeah. What's the vibe on the team like? Oh, the vibe is lovely. We're all enjoying it. We're ready to keep going. We're, we're loving our uh, run right now. We're ready to keep being some of the top teams in the country. Tell me a little bit about the staff. Does Hangey uh, still get out on the, on the mat? No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does, does he really? <laughs> does he get a hold of you? Yeah. He's all short offense, right? He's got no speed left, right? I'm surprised. Hangey's, Hangey's strong. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Hangey's a good man, and Nick, he's, he's good, too. Do you wrestle with Wolf at all? Oh, yeah. He's got bad body odor, right? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> no? I don't care, bro. The Wolf man, uh, Ryan, you know I'm just teasing yeah. you. Tell me something else about the team, man. Who's got the worst hair on the team? Uh, Dean Sherry has the best hair. He's got crazy <laughs> hair, right? Crazy yeah. hair. Who listens to the worst music? Uh, definitely Coach Nick. No, no, no. Coach Nick. What do you listen to? Uh, everything you don't want to listen to. <laughs> yeah. Does it make you have to focus to not listen to it, like when he's playing it? Yeah. yeah. All right.